One final story today, our country awaits its high court announcement in the decision in the case of Dobbs versus Jackson Women's Health Organization. And this is a case that has a potential to end the blight of abortion and Roe versus Wade which legalized abortion through all nine months of pregnancy. Now, in the meantime, many states are scrambling to anticipate a post-Roe future. Some states are working to codify a, quote, right to abortion, while others have passed or are considering legislation to protect all unborn life in the event that Roe is overturned. My colleague, Connor Semmelsberger, our Director of Federal Affairs, Pending Life and Human Dignity Issues, joins me now to provide an update on the highlight, a few of the states are now getting on the life issue. Connor, good to see you today. Great to be on with you, Joseph. Now, I mentioned this divide. States are really moving in dramatically different directions on the life issues in anticipation of Roe being overturned. Tell us which states are going in the anti-life direction and how are they doing that? Yeah, so they're really having to step over themselves to go in that anti-life direction. As you mentioned, Roe v. Wade legalized abortion through all nine months in all 50 states, and it gave states the ability to uh, protect life around the 24-week viability standpoint, but but no further. So so that's already the default law in our, our, our land here in the U.S. But yeah, the states that are really just wanting to double down, California, Maryland, New York, others, but California in particular, you look at them, and they're right now considering a bill. Uh, again, they already allow uh, abortion through all nine months of pregnancy, you know, with a simple health exception that effectively allows all abortions. But right now, they are considering a bill uh, that would allow abortions through a perinatal period. What does that mean? Uh, the perinatal period, not defined in the bill, but in medical journals and others, uh, includes life even up to seven days after birth. So this is the extremes we're talking about. It's not just uh, some uh, Democrats, you know, wanting to fund abortions or things like that. It's it's that times 10. Anyone that wants to perform an abortion can perform one. We're going to use our state tax dollars to bring people out of state into our state to get abortions for free. And yes, like I mentioned, it's, it's scary, but California is considering legislation to allow women to legally kill their ch- children even after they're born. Connor, that seems horrifying, and I want you to tell us a bit more about this. You you talk about this perinatal period in which they want to legalize abortion, which, according to the statute, uh, would extend to is it seven days after birth. So are you saying that a, a mother could have a baby and then change her mind, and a doctor would be allowed to kill it within seven days of birth? That's what it would appear. Again, the way they write these bills, it's usually the abortion movement working with the the state legislators in places like California and New York. So you talk to state legislators in California, they don't even really know what's in this bill. They don't know how things are defined, but it's the Planned Parenthoods and the abortion activists that push these bills that just want to blur the lines. They want to create some world where no matter what a woman or an abortionist does, there can be no penalty to them whatsoever. So again, because things are so um, ill-defined, so the agenda is so um, really evil in a way, just like what I just explained, could be a reality. We don't know based on the way things are, but a court could could very easily read this bill that's being considered if it became law, and yes, let either an abortionist or their mother off the hook if in case they did kill their infant even after it's born. Well, it is horrifying to hear that, but when we think about the logic of abortion and and the personhood theory that that supports it and this idea that what makes you a person is not being created in the image of God, but really what you're capable of doing. And, and, And a baby one week after it is born is not significantly different than a baby one week before it is born. And it's actually hard, logically speaking, uh, to distinguish and, and to clarify why a week before you're born, you should be able to be killed, but a week after you're born, you shouldn't be able to. And that appears to be, and maybe in some ways, they're becoming consistent with their own logic in a terrible but important way that we all need to be aware of. But Connor, fortunately, not every state is moving in the wrong direction. I know that many states already have trigger laws, which would, in the event of Roe versus Wade being overturned, automatically ban abortion. Which states are moving in the right direction? 
Yeah, it's good to highlight the Californians to see what we're up against. But boy, the pro-life uh, side really has momentum. Uh, we just heard so much about Florida. The, uh, despite all the Disney uh, news and drama down in Florida, their governor signed a 15-week protection into law. And that's that doesn't seem that strong relative to full protections in places like Wyoming, that prior to uh, a month ago, they allowed abortion through all nine months. They now have one of these trigger laws. But yeah, Florida is now at 15 weeks. They previously were at 24 weeks. So a major jump uh, in terms of where they're protecting life. But you're looking from the southeast in Florida to Wyoming to Oklahoma and Kentucky, really just passing substantive, strong pro-life laws that we think once Roe is overturned, we hope that that happens this year. Uh, these states can really, for the first time since 1973, truly protect, protect life in their state. Now, Connor, for those who are watching on NRB TV or on TonyPerkins.com, we're flashing images there of the pro-life maps that we have created. If people want to see more and get a better understanding of where their, their state is on these life issues, where can they get access to those maps? Yeah, very easily at frc.org slash pro-life maps, all one word, and you'll see our suite of pro-life maps. This is our latest one. What does a post-Roe world look like? Uh, giving you an exact snapshot of where your state is uh, in terms of where they might protect life, complete with categories, interactive statutes for you to check them out yourself. What's great about this, too, is you peel back the layers. In each state, you can see your state's abortion story. What, what pro-life laws has your state passed since 73? What track have they been on? Pain-capable level, heartbeat levels, full protections. The whole story is all there Honor. for everyone to check out. I do have to cut you off. It's frc.org slash pro-life maps. Thanks for being with us today. Appreciate it.